The solar energy revolution is sweeping across Nkambe like a storm. The insufficient, inadequate hydroelectricity power supply in the region may be driving the change. Long blackouts that go for months, the longest being about 32 months, are probably the cause. So small businesses and private persons are transitioning to solar energy to meet their energy requirements. Companies have sprung up across the area that supply this new form of energy. In this documentary, we investigate how this new form of energy is affecting both the suppliers and the consumers and how they are adapting to the changing dynamics by letting them speak. The first part of the documentary will cover the suppliers. The second part will take us to visit an installation site and see how the installation is done. The third part will cover will give link us a uh, allow the consumers to express their feelings about this new form of energy. So we dis we realize that solar energy demand in Kambe is not as a result of the desire to flee or to drop fossil fuel consumption. It is instead a desire to meet inadequate supply of hydroelectricity power. I'll be a technician in solar installation and then I'll be also repair. And then for this solar system, I'll be supplied to the solar when customer be in need. Okay. So as uh, you supply do you hear customers they already we don't supply them the solar? Okay, so 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 far you don't know supply people then. Now company or as individual for house where they use our houses then or for business places then. I don't supply for individuals. I don't supply for business people then where they do charging fees. Then I don't supply for hospitals. Okay, so you don't supply for for other places then. Some uh, end of them don't they complain of the system, say it is okay, not be good or they get a problem often. Yes, at first, when we do the solar installation, we know we don't know the qualities that way because we don't need an introduction for inside solar. So, the customer then will complain of when they don't do six, one year, six months, they start get. A shortage of low energy, so they're not if you enjoy the solar again that way. Okay, so uh, when the supply person the solar system, you get a guarantee, yes, yes. yes guarantee. Okay, so this one now you are now the pattern for the things the way solar system it they, they take where you install. Right. Yes. Okay. Now, how is the function? This one in waiting For solar system, you get a combination of. You get the panel as you don't see, and, and after the panel, you get charge controller. Mm -hmm. After charge controller, we get battery. After battery, we get this inverter. Mm -hmm. Then I need to convert the battery to direct current. So we also get the box solar box or we have round one and this long one we have different different design this one to a long bubble and a 60 centi so we also get a 12 volt distributor when are for being main for solar so for the one now the combination that way we make solar be functionable okay so when you go with uh for like as you really talk to the install even a water pump when a solar again too so so it is used to the very combination for you no with the water pump you get only panel and with panel you get now a time when you pump water and then 
person where one they pump water all time store if even use a uh, solar battery and the panel at the same time so that anytime even for night if you pump water the person will get a storage tank if you put a on the panel then get a particular time where it come for daytime and then store and for that time that safety time see this is the pg if you see i'm so the one back for the solar panel and the solar panel if you look for it, the maximum power it's been a 170 watt the maximum power current where the solar the supply now 9.71 amperes and the maximum power voltage for the be 17.5 voltage and the open circuit voltage for the be 21.5 volt and then the short circuit current it be 11.17 now from this short circuit current so we never know which charge controller we go use on either 10a 10 amperes 20 amperes 30 amperes 50 30 or any other charge controller so as you see um, uh, a solar be built in such a way it get the negative the negative and the positive terminals like this one again negative and positive terminal and then at the same capacity this one also get a positive and negative terminals so for this one this one i just on small system will get for connecting for house i will get for use do a parallel connection the parallel connection it means it we take the negative the negative terminals and this you blend them together and you take the positive terminals you blend them together then send them for house now as this is negative uh, negative this is positive so since now one 170 watt it will be multiplied now it will be now 170 watt times two but the voltage could still remain 21 point as we get them for here 21.5 volt so when we don't send them for this so it will remain as 21.5 volt but the wattage could increase right up to 300 and something watt as you can see them for here at 340 340 watt now if in case it will be now say we want to do now series connection because in solar all is about the parallel and series connection so we get this one we could take this negative we blend them with this positive when we don't blend them so we will get now this output way na negative and this other output way na positive and then the two solars now a be joined together for here now see where they happen now for then i say waiting the solar panel now will remain as 170 watt but the voltage now will increase to if not 21.5 then for a year it could not increase to 42 uh 43 volt now 43 volt now will come down from the solar panels not again 21.5 so but the solar will remain 170 watt now so the connection will be for parallel the connection the one a series connection for that parallel will be face C and the parallel connection they increase the wattage but the voltage will remain the same. Why for series connection the wattage will remain the same but the voltage they increase. Now the difference that way there for the if if you look if you look for the map a compound you will understand say the sun the east it then so so we now go put solar panel for front day. We'll get put solar panel for up for zing for this side so that when the sun it come out it could then up on top of the solar panel see uh, the sun is set towards this side so when the sun is come on this side is set again this side it will always remain on top of the solar panel it will get maximum sun for charge the batteries this solar if you charge the battery in in two uh in four hours times or two hours time if the sun really be heavy the battery will be uh it could flop
So the one them that they you know, the positive terminals and this now we we don't cut them for Lincoln. So we talk for down. We'll come now, we'll link them through for here. The positive terminals. Are. Then now the negative terminals in this. For check the positive, it will be for check it from here. The positive will always be like a mail. So anyone where you see I'm so with this now the positive mark this for the now a mail. Or you fix the test them with multimeter. Though with other test them, we'll see how the panel function. The test again with more. Set our multimeter for DC 200. We feel measure the voltage where they come out inside the solar panel. So, like this one 24.5 voltage for this. And then, if we come for here again, we will measure this one. We give we 24.0. So, the, di the difference not really over there. So we go join the negative and the positive and the positive terminal this You want to add the phone and all the news. So, if you check and you will see the voltage where they come out for day now at 24.2 and the whole on live, so because you know the shock that when the voltage is increased to around 100 and something, you know, people are against So, now I will take my red from here. All things for you now. Twelve. Room. If you if you want to, we get our charge controller of thirty amperes. This charge controller will be graduated for for run. Uh, that is thirty amperes. It will run twelve volt and twenty four volt. So for the charging, you know, get on any problem. This charge can be charged in 12 volt and 24. But if you go for 36 volt and 48 volt, the charge controller not will be able. And then now the the inverter, this one of the inverter, 1000 watt or volt amperes. We check the inverter again in negative and positive terminals. In. So this inverter now DC 12 volt. To AC 230 volt. So now, now the actual voltage really taken. We put 24 volt in our taken. So from here we will connect now a 12 volt system so that it will favor this you know, inverter for be able for supply current or as way. If you run this one, if you run uh, 42 inches TV, if you run a blender, your laptop, and uh, many others, where we feel run them with this one. If you look for on top charge point, for try to get reports them. We get the positive, the negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. If you look for here, this one a solar panel. If you look again for here, this one a battery and this one a bulb. Where it shows a connection, where they come for here and a connection for battery. When cable is leave from battery, the positive they enter for here, the negative they enter for here. So you must connect now the battery first before you go to the solar panel. So the solar panel get positive and negative. And you could always make this connection be as short as control there for this level, shortest distance to the battery. And then now, when we don't put up here now, the solar panel, this one, 
you can enter for here and then we'll move now the one we're going to bring about lighting the lighting for the house now a dc lighting when a 12 volt dc we're going to use these uh these were bulbs and we'll get them from here we test a box okay. then we will do the connection before you will enjoy them bit and then we test them where you did so we get this so at the end we're going to get the lighting zone for the house, all the metal now, so the person will demand for 10 bucks and he want to run a TV. So we don't bring 10 bucks and the bucks and uh, 3 3 watts each. We don't really graduate the system, we will get to work on 3 3 watt bulbs and 10 of them. Then uh, this one with the user, the wiring, this one a 2.5 millimeter squared cable, we will use them for wiring double. It goes to the positive terminal of the battery. Yes. Here is a negative terminal. I'll take it again. The negative terminal of the battery automatically it owns the controller. That's the actual voltage of the two watches when it has been paired into the controller. Now, the second step, we now take that which is coming from the solar. Because it is a negative, so it is an issue. See, it has changed and it is charging. When I shake it a bit, it will go. So that's how the charging goes on. Now, so the charging will go. So you don't feel them. So if you check another battery, will be there for 12.7. 12 12 don't go with 13.8. But it show a full charge. So the capacity of energy will come down be able to flop this battery as fast as possible so the reading them for the we get uh, we get uh, the battery the battery's temperature 23 degrees centigrade is operating in 12 volt the panel voltage 22.5 volt the battery voltage 13.8 so 13.8 is full charge this is full charge 13.8 12.6 cents to the bulb we have 11.0 means that the battery has end, uh, that ba the battery don't finish you so until you work again for the no bulb no fish shine no tv no fish can on and then now so we did so this one this button now the master switch for the bulbs and if i put them off for here no bulb no fish can on so you see how it indicate for the the shine the bulb mm -hmm. yes now we'll connect now the the cable for the bulbs and for here So once as the cable don't connect, the, all the bulb they will come on. They will come on if the switch will be on. So you see now bulb now where it is for the powerhouse don't already come on. Because the cable don't already be connected. Yes, now the first bulb that is already there on. Yeah. If you go for the other one, they will say it is too on. So if you left now, we will do now. I will arrange the cables then. You will bring cable clips then. We will arrange the cable then using the cable clips and so that at least it will, will it look presentable. Because when even when you be a technician, you may work, it look nasty, you not really look good. Uh, then the 
mix with the television for this system. So this one will be able to really make it me run the system fine to enjoy television. See channels at, at any time. So you want to run it in for the whole day in the next day because it's battery you really need that uh, strong the rocket uh, battery you need that strong When you come on, as you see, when you come on, first show the red light. If to say battery be low, it will continuously show the red light, but if to say be okay, this green light will continue as it did for here. So now we will test and now whether our current will come for the day and how. Then we will wait this. Voila, 224 volt. So the 224 volt is actually be okay for the normal house use so current we never get from 220 219 to 2 around 230 so it'll be okay so because for the we move we say the current will supply 230 when the 224 will be okay for run the system the charge phones for see a television or run with the next them and some other things Amen. Amen. So, okay, the mail is not